morning, Sunday morning, and welcome to another spooky Wrath of Math lesson. Today, we'll be proving that every edge of a tree graph must be a bridge. Recall that a bridge is an edge that when deleted, disconnects the graph or component that it belongs to, and a tree graph is a connected graph with no cycles. So we're going to prove that every edge of a connected graph with no cycles must be a bridge. If you delete the edge, it disconnects the graph. You might recall a previous result we proved that an edge is a bridge if and only if it lies on no cycles. The result we're proving today is an immediate consequence of that result. I'll leave a link to a proof of it in the description. This is basically just going to be half of that proof. I know some people will search specifically for this result, so that's why we're just going to take some time today to prove it. So, let me remove my silky, spooky brown glove, and then I will be able to write in a way that is hopefully somewhat legible. Again, we're going to prove that every edge of a tree graph must be a bridge. So, we'll begin with an arbitrary tree graph. We'll say, let T be a tree, and since we want to prove that every edge of every tree must be a bridge, we'll take an arbitrary edge from our arbitrary tree graph. So, we'll say, let T be a tree with an edge E. So, with some edge E, and we'll say that the edge E joins the vertices U and V. So, U and V are the end vertices of E. Now, this is going to be a nice and quick proof by contradiction. So, since we want to prove that E, whoops, I forgot this E here. That's how you spell edge, E-D-G-E. -E. We're supposing uh, we've got this tree with an edge E. Since we want to prove that E must be a bridge, we'll suppose for contradiction that E is not a bridge. So we'll say SFC, suppose for contradiction, that our edge E is not a bridge. Suppose that E is not a bridge. This means we can delete E from our tree and still have a connected graph. So, we're supposing for contradiction that E is not a bridge. That means, by definition of bridge, that if we delete the edge E from T, we will have a connected graph. I'll just abbreviate that C-O-N-N. -N. If we delete this edge that isn't a bridge from our tree graph T, the resulting graph has to be connected because E is not a bridge. The contradiction we're going to end up getting here is that the graph T must contain a cycle, which of course contradicts the fact that T is a tree. So how are we going to get there? Well, since T minus E is connected, what do we know must be true? By definition of a connected graph, there must exist a path connecting these vertices U and V in the graph T minus E. Because remember, we just deleted the edge joining U and V. We did not delete U and V. They are both in this graph. Since the graph is connected, there must exist a path connecting them. So, there exists, that's what that symbol means, there exists a path that we'll call P connecting U and V in our graph T minus E. And note that certainly the path P does not contain the edge E because P exists in T minus E. That's a graph that doesn't have E, so P certainly doesn't have E either. So the situation we've got going looks something like this. We had these vertices U and V, and they were joined by an edge E that we have deleted, and in the resulting graph, T minus E, there must be some path connecting U and V, since we assumed that E was not a bridge. So we delete it, the resulting graph is connected, thus there exists a path connecting U and V in this resulting graph, T minus E. And that path might look something like that. Do you see the problem here now? What we can do is just combine this path P with the edge E to give us a cycle. If we combine that UV path P with the edge E, we get a cycle in the graph T 
T, which is a contradiction because T is a tree, meaning it can't have any cycles. So there it is, combining our path P with the edge E produces a cycle in T. That is a contradiction, thus our contradiction assumption that the edge E is not a bridge must be false. E has to be a bridge to avoid this contradiction, and thus every edge of every tree graph must be a bridge. If you delete any edge from a tree graph, the resulting graph will be disconnected. We'll just walk through this logic super quick one more time. We want to prove that every edge of a tree graph must be a bridge. A tree graph is a connected graph with no cycles. So we take a tree graph, take an edge from the tree, suppose for contradiction that that edge is not a bridge. Then we can delete the edge from the tree and get a connected graph. Since that graph is connected, there must be a path connecting the end vertices of the edge we deleted in this graph. If we combine that path with the edge we originally deleted, that will produce a cycle in the original tree T, which contradicts T being a tree. Thus, E is, in fact, a bridge. And that's how you prove that every edge of every tree graph is a bridge. Hope this helped you understand the proof. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the spookiest math lessons on the internet.